all that aside i just really 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 hope my son gets to come here for christmas and Friday, Friday the 20th, and I am just going to be taking you guys through a day in the life. We are at home today. I have been in a huge funk recently. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about that later on, but right now it's late. I'm getting my morning routine started late today because, again, I have been not feeling very well. Um, but I'm about to get a workout in for at least 30 minutes. The kids are still sleeping. Thank the Lord. So. Let's do this. I'm a little bit naughty. I'm a little bit too consumed. But every part of my body is telling me to run away from you. Come a little I am freaking dead because I haven't ran consistently in a few days and I ate like crud yesterday but nonetheless we are done. I am sweaty so I'm gonna chug some water and wake these kids up. Hopefully I'll get to shower at some point this morning. I know that's gross. Don't judge me. Guess who's coming to our house for Christmas? What? Zamani. Are you excited to see your brother? That's where it's Zamani. He said his dad's house. But he wants him to go to our Christmas right now. He's going to be here for Christmas. You guys can open up gifts together on yes. Christmas Day. I want to see the gift on theirs. Well, Santa hasn't come yet. Okay. All right, Nova. Come on. Oh, Lordy. What are you looking for? Something to wear. We're going to go outside for a little bit, too. So, here you can wear these. Uh, uh, <gasps> Hi. Uh, Hi, Baba. Hi. Aww. You put your shirt on backwards. Turn around. Put your shirt on backwards. Your pocket's in the back. Did you see that? Switch your shirt around, silly. Switch it around. I picked this stuff up and I'm excited to try it. Me and TJ are gonna have some of this. I know that Nova won't eat any, but I'm still gonna put some in front of her and offer it, but she is very picky, so. This smells heavenly, and Nova just said she wanted some. Mom win. I swear, y'all, my three-year-old doesn't even eat as much as my one-year-old. It's freaking 9.40 right now. 
course my mom's calling me. Hello? Yeah, I told him. I told him everything. So I am trying to get my son here for Christmas. I have been in court for months. Um, I want to say like maybe 17 months or something like that. I can't talk too much about it um, because my ex watches my social media. Um, but it has been so incredibly overwhelming and difficult dealing with this. And I just, I'm at my breaking point. Um, if you've ever gone through any kind of custody issues or like fights about visitation or just like basic rights to your own child and it's been going on for years and years, um, then you know how I feel, but I'm just, I'm so tired of fighting. I just, I wanna be able to have my son here for Christmas. I wanna be able to see him. You know, I, we're in the middle of a pandemic. It makes things so much more difficult. Um, it's just crazy. Our state's on lockdown, their state's not um, where he lives. So yeah, and it brings up a bunch of like family drama. I'm just having issues with my biological dad and been going back and forth with like my parents just, you know, cause we're all on board. We all want the same thing. It's just, we all have different levels of like involvement and like potential loss. Whenever it comes to anything legal, like there's so many issues. And I have basically lost in court every single time I have attempted to do anything up until this point. So I am at, I am staring down the barrel of like a huge financial loss, um, a loss with like connection to my child because if you know anything, like trying to foster and cultivate a relationship with a child who lives halfway across the country is difficult. I have other kids here that depend on me to be there and I have a household and I have a business and I have, you know, all of this stuff here and trying to deal with the pressures of that on top of everything else, it's overwhelming. So I just spent the last like 30 minutes, 45 minutes crying. It's like 10 a.m. now. I don't even know where the morning went. Uh, my kids are upstairs playing in the playroom. I'm about to go up there and, and talk to them, but obviously like I can't be emotional around them. So I had to just like take a, take a minute, set up the baby gate and take a minute away. I'm gonna take them outside so we can like go and do something fun, but I'm just, I've, I'm really going through it right now because it's, it's so difficult. I wouldn't wish this on anyone. You know, um, I'm gonna have a whole video on my recovery coming up this week and I'm gonna be answering some questions and there were a lot of questions about my situation and how I got to this point with like my kids and everyone's always really curious about my third child because I, I don't talk about it much because I can't. Like I have to tread waters really lightly because we are in the middle of court and I don't know exactly what I can and what I can't say and I don't wanna say the wrong thing because my channel is very transparent and it can be used against me you know if I were to say anything incorrectly so I have to tread water super carefully on this topic but it's not something that I try to like purposely withhold from you guys because y'all are so supportive in every aspect and it's not like I'm trying to keep some secret or that I'm like ashamed or something it's literally just like I'm trying to be careful so Go. let's get outside <sighs> We are going outside. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. Hi. Come on over here. Okay. <laughs> you put your jacket on upside down. Oh, you answer. Yes, you can. Try again. Mm -hmm. you, goof. Mm -hmm. you see him? All right. Now I'm going to put my jacket on. I'm going to stick my arm in and pull it around and stick my other arm in. Now you do it. The other See, you did it. Now come put your hat on. Ready? Okay. This girl legit just jumped in puddles when I asked her not to jump in any puddles. And of course, she did. Nova, what do you have to say? Was it worth it? Jeez. 
for lunch? Yeah, let's do crap. Let's do some painting. Hey guys, um, I'm Nova Anthony Britton, and I'm Kim from Indian Single Old Tiber, and I'm from Britain because mom, mommy is come on Saturday. What are you telling them? And I'm telling them about you, mom, because you're my pretty girl. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so for Nova, I just have one of these little, where's the paint palette at, Nova? Ah. Go and find it, otherwise you can't paint. So I just got these little paint brushes and Nova has like a little tiny paint palette. Where did you leave it yesterday when you had it? Okay, bring it over here, bring it up to your table. No. Don't yell at him. So I have these little bowls for suction for water because you need a little bit of water. All right, what should we have for lunch today, guys? I say yeah. macaroni and cheese it is. Okay, we got hot mac and cheese. This seat has been a game changer for TJ because now he can sit at the table and be one of us. Right, babe? TJ got some uh, peas and carrots in his because I knew he would eat them. Nova would have rejected the entire bowl, so <laughs> mom life. So it's mama's turn to eat and I got these turkey burgers a long time ago at Trader Joe's and I haven't even cracked the box open yet so I'm gonna go ahead and have one of these. I got this like lettuce um, planter thing from the grocery store but I've been leaving it on my counter. I think I need to actually leave it in the fridge because like the leaves have been wilting and drying out. I don't know, have y'all ever seen one of these things that you get to like plant yourself? My other one that I had, it grew mold so I definitely had to throw it out, but I think they're actually meant to be stored in the fridge. I don't know. So, so the kids just off. went down for a nap. It's 1240 right now. Normally I would be doing something super productive, but because I didn't like get showered and get ready this morning, I have all of that to do right now, but I actually need to edit a couple of TikTok videos that are just sitting in my queue to go up and then, um, I have to edit a thumbnail because I have a vlog going live tonight, so I need to get that done. Um, so I'm gonna do that really quick. Then I'm gonna go downstairs and put some epoxy layers on my cups because I do have a few that I need to get going because it's Friday and the weekends are really like a the hustle on cups because I normally have Taylor home to help me, so I will just take some extra time. Um, so I wanna get those going. So I'm gonna sit here and do that right now.
Okay, so whenever I get ready, I always like to listen to a podcast. So I'm just finishing up my hair right now. Whew, set you all down. Hopefully I don't look too crazy. Um, I put on some makeup. I put on my eyelashes. I'm gonna listen to a little bit of a podcast. Right now I'm listening to Bits of Breeze podcast because I love her. She's a good friend of mine. Um, and yeah, let's go do that. Reasons why their patients needed home health and that's something that I'm so passionate about. Like All right, we've got afternoon snacks of grapes, and what do you got? Granola bar. Granola bar, that's right. And then we've got TJ over here. He just got some leftover turkey burger and some arrowroot cookies. Are they good, buddy? I think you are. And Mama is gonna have a cup of coffee. I don't know how I made it through this day without having a cup of coffee this morning. I did have my pre-workout, so maybe that's how, but my friend Sam just gifted me a Starbucks gift card, which, thank you Sam, love you. But now I'm thinking like, should I drive up to Oak Harbor to get a coffee? It's like 25 minutes away from the nearest one. <sighs> I got a call in like an hour that I gotta be on, so I'm thinking I'm just gonna make a Starbucks pot and save it for tomorrow, but I'm so sad because I really want Starbucks coffee now. I am gonna I am gonna have a Starbucks pod. That should count for something though, right? I mean, right? Okay, so this is gonna be like the biggest contradiction ever, but silk dairy-free half and a half and heavy whipped cream because it's been a long day and your girl needs it, okay? I honestly cannot even tell you guys how much I actually miss dairy. Like I've been thinking about it for so long because um, I've been dairy-free for a few weeks. Um, and I still use butter and stuff sometimes, but I miss cheese and heavy whipping cream and like, I just miss that stuff so bad that I'm just about to say, forget it and suffer the stomach consequences, okay? Because I just, I don't know, especially when I'm going through it. I know that I definitely still probably seek comfort in some of these things. Yes, baby. Nope, you can eat the rest of your food though. Go sit down. She wants some whipped cream. No, mama's whipped cream. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. Hmm. I know the good dog went doing this and this. Hang on with this. Doing like this. Let's see you go. I think that's a really good job. Hmm? What do you think? That is the letter B. B, B. B as in baby. As in, what is that? What is this? Balloon. Balloon. As in, what is that? B as in butterfly. And then B as in, what is this? Boat. Yes, B as in boat. Great job, you did all the Bs. Now we're gonna go on to C. C. I wonder why there's a kite in there. That's not, that doesn't start with a C. C. That starts with a K. But anyways, C as in cat. Cat. As in, what is this? Crown. Crown. What is this one? The kick. And this one? Cow. C as in cupcake, Look, crown, this little one. and cow. Do this little one. Yeah, those are little C's. All right, so I've got Thanksgiving on my mind. The kids are watching a movie right now and I just created a checklist for Thanksgiving Day. I will have that available for you guys. It'll be linked in my description box. All you'll need to do is enter in your email address on my website and it'll come directly to your email once you confirm your subscription. It's basically just going to go through, let me give you a quick sneak peek. Basically going to break your day down. First of all, it's gonna show you how you should thaw your turkey based on the Washington, or I'm sorry, not Washington, United States Department of Agriculture. I just got this from their website to make sure I was accurate. And then it's gonna break down how you should be preparing the hours before your dinner and it's going to have everything for even after dinner and et cetera, et cetera. So I am, ooh, 
Ooh. Your girl is looking orange, okay. So I'm hosting this year for the first time and I don't like the way that I look. So I'm hosting for the first time and my parents are coming. It's not going to be huge, but it is my daughter's birthday, so I have that added element of stress. So I just like to make sure that I don't forget anything. If you're like that, then I think you would definitely benefit from this. Please definitely go and check out my blog. And again, I'll have that link down below for you guys. But I'm just gonna do some work. It's four o'clock right now. I have to jump on a call. And I feel like I should end the vlog here because it's already kind of long and the night is just gonna be really boring. I think I'm gonna have a nighttime routine up here in the next few days or the next couple of weeks. Make sure that you guys are subscribed. Check out one of these videos over here or over here, wherever they pop up on the screen. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.